In this video, we are going to continue with finding the constant of integration. You will find this on page 320 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 10. A curve is such that there's the function, the derivative function, the differentiated function. The line is the normal, very important, the normal to the curve at the point P on the curve. Given that the x-coordinate of P is positive, find the coordinate of P. Okay, now first let's work with this to find the gradient of the tangent. But let's first find the gradient of the normal. So make y the subject of the formula. So take it over, divide 3, divide 3, divide 3. So what, what is my value of m? It's a 1, so it's that negative a third. But that's the gradient of the normal. So remember the normal is perpendicular to the tangent. So what will be the gradient of the tangent? That will be the reciprocal with different signs. And there it is. Okay. Now, this is the gradient function. So I, I substitute that gradient of the tangent in. And if I substitute it in, I, I will get this. But then, then, don't forget, I'm going to find the value of x. So, so I plus minus, because I'm taking the square root, But, now this is very important, I see the x-coordinate of p is positive. That's why I negative 2, or, or let's rather say it like this, reject negative 2. Okay. Okay, now, um, I what do I want to, given that the x, uh, the coordinate of p. Now, substitute x equals 2 into the equation of the of the normal okay because that any any of that so i have two so i substitute it in there in the equation of the normal and i get the value of y is five because remember the normal okay can i just show you on a sketch here say and this is not to say it's the correct sketch of the function but i just want to show you say for example uh, that this was the curve Oh, that's still a straight line. Say this was the curve. Okay. And and this was, say, the tangent. And th this is all at P. This P. And that normal is also go. So although that point is on the tangent, it's also on the curve. Okay. So that's why I can substitute it in the, form the formula of the normal. Remember the tangent? Can I just show you? The tangent will then be like this. So, oh, I don't find another color. Oh, maybe white. And, and the tangent will be like this. Perpendicular. Okay, so, so there's the sketch. So, this is my point. I have 2 and 5. And then the equation of the curve. Now, I'm going to integrate this derivative function. That's what I did there. And then plus C, and then I just substitute that point because remember what I said that point, that point P is on the curve, on the tangent, and on the normal. It's all going through point P. So I substitute and I get the value of C is negative 9. So the equation of the curve is going to be this. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. A curve is such that, and I always like to first write it down. This is the derivative function, don't forget. Differentiated function. Where P is a constant. The gradient of the normal to the curve. Okay. At the point, so what is my point? It's 1 and negative 2, and the gradient of the normal. So I can, I can start by saying gradient of normal, 
and what they are telling me there, negative 1 over 7. So, the gradient of the tangent will be 7 because it's perpendicular due to the fact that if I multiply that 2, I will get negative 1. That's why, oh, let's just move it, it's not nice. Okay, then it's better. Um, I will get negative 1. Okay, so that's the reason. So I take the reciprocal and I change the sign. Now, I can start by saying, okay, at So if I'm saying, uh, therefore, therefore, I know that I substitute in this formula and I substitute 7. You see that? And I can substitute that x value because I'm looking for p. So p and that 1 plus 3 because I have all the information. I have the gradient and I know it's at this point and I substitute that x value always to get the gradient. So this will give me 7 equals p no, then plus 3, so 7 minus 3 is equal to P. So therefore, what is P? P will just be 4. Okay. Now, I'm not done. Find the equation of the curve. So I have no P. So now I can go and say, okay, if I want to find the equation of the curve, I will integrate, but remember you have no P. So it's 4X plus 3 and I integrate to x. Then I'm just going to get 4x squared over 2 plus 3x plus c. And now I'm going to substitute. I still have my point. What is my point? 1 and negative 2. So that's my x and my y because I'm looking for c. So if I substitute... It's going to be negative 2 equals 2. And in the place of x, it is 1 squared plus 3, 1 plus c. Okay, can I move it up a little bit? Negative 2 equals, oh, that's too long. I could have made it in one step. So C is negative 2 minus 2 minus 3 equals C. So therefore, C is negative 7. And I'm not done yet because I didn't answer the question yet. What was the question? Find the equation of the curve. So therefore, Y is equal to... Okay, now I just want, must just concentrate where do I substitute. I'm going to substitute there. So it's going to be 2x squared plus 3x minus 7. And that's going to be the equation of the curve. Um, can I just scratch this? In the final edition, it's, this is not necessary. I didn't form two equations. I did it without. So let's just scratch that in the final edition of the book. If it goes in for print, it will not stand there.